it's really um, and stress is really for me. So I just really appreciate that. Um, the, the focus for the um, next year um, is, is uh, the last year has been spent on painting on goal number one, three, and five over here. Um, building a sustainable future, addressing um, critical facility and staffing needs, and increase communications with citizens and facilitate the citizen participation. And we did that by, um, first of all, by transferring the staff person into the recorder's office that um, addressed the critical staffing needs. Um, second, we designed our new commission chambers at City Hall with sustainability in mind. Uh, the new electronic city chambers have reduced the number of hard copy citizen commission or, or city commission packets, saving 100,000 pages, nearly 100,000 copies per year, plus all the staff time to make those copies and everything that goes along with that. Uh, so that, that's been a real focus for us. Um, and and the board, even greater news is that more boards and commissions are coming on board to use the, the electronics in the chambers and um, they're moving also into the electronic packets. So that will save even more. And just FYI, um, we're now streaming out to City Commission and, and Urban Renewal, but uh, Parks and Rec, Library Board, um, HRB, Planning Commission, and the Transportation Advisory Committee. So they're, they're kind of slowly coming on board because it takes, you know, how it takes a little bit of adjustment for all this. So, um, they're, but they're doing, they're doing good. And, and what this also means is that all of these videos, um, it, it's available around the world 24-7. Um, so it's, it's live on the Internet as well as on demand. And we've also included... <laughs> And we created the agenda electronically and you provided the funds for us this last year to do that. And um, it, it also helps to create, to create it electronically, to implement it, to, to use it during meetings, and then to save it electronically at the, at the end. So from beginning to end, it's all electronic. And if the state didn't require that we have hard copies, we wouldn't, need, we wouldn't even make them. But they so, I like her cousin myself. I'm not sure if she was going to add them to the file and getting a package now. Well, all I require is that it's edible. And I can edit it. I can edit it. If I can edit it, I will be able to find it. I have a plan B. I don't know about that. No. We know that we would also put our dollars for the conducting of the elections, for retention of, 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 of city documents, support for the city commission, which, by the way, is my personal goal this year to increase the, the support to the city commission. Um, and I want to talk to you all about that at some point in time because having everyone on board has, um, will give us the opportunity to provide more service for you, better service, because I know that you have not received the best of And we also do claims management for all of uh, city insurance matters. We we are the audiovisual resource staff, which hopefully in the future our IT supervisor can um, bring on a part-time AV person, and also do franchise negotiations. So everything that we do, we, we first focus on sustainability, um, how we have a sustainable approach to what we do, um, and that keeps us in track with the goals. Um, the proposed budget increases again are um, for technical services, the support services for all of what I just described. Um, our full-time staff person, which is actually a transfer. And then, you know how you're updating this, uh, the code right now with these in the code amendments? That there's a codification process at the very end once all that is approved, and that, that's been really expensive this year. So I've had to increase the codification um, budget for that as well. But I think that it's not, it's not Probably even an increase of maybe, I come right down to it. If I figure right, 
um, like under five thousand dollars in increase. So um, I think we get pretty good. Um, but last but not least, I want to show you our other perspective. I like to see where we've been and where we are. And I want to show you these, these four quick pictures because this gives you an idea of how hard we work. To bring up the milk to the water and let it go. What you don't know is that you're going to go into the place and the part of that was a drink tank. We are a registered facility. We are in the city. Um, these, get yeah, down here. Yes, yes, yes. These are the and it we took our the boxes, we bought them, tracked them, them, um, labeled the boxes uh, according to their intention and shipped them off to recall, uh, which is the facility. And then, let's see if I can get them even further. What? They're, they're making progress. And then we and take the, the containers away. So this was a three-year project, and it was like we can't do anything else in the garden today. I just want to say, I'm so glad that that is accomplished. I'm sure we can do more. I'm sure I have, um, as far as my budget, if anyone has any um, comments or questions, I'd be happy to. Um, what in time to go for this go? Um, we're now from like the, the 80s. 1980s. 1980s. Oh, um, oh, yeah. 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 1800s, but well, the the 1800s were founded there. Yeah, no, um, you know, one of the that we found original orders that had done from some and they came in there, and then they put the back over there, and 25 years later we found them. So that's the end of that. I just want to say, I don't think Nancy will ever get the credit that she deserves for the records, the maintenance, this project. I mean, I was called too when I first came in and saw how casual we treated records, especially the old ones in the oldest city of West Rocky. And, um, you know, when I see Nancy organize it, bringing outside resources, move us into the modern age, um, I, again, I don't think we, any of us really know what she's really done for us, but okay. I appreciate it. Well, uh, sir, can you make that a little bigger? I just saw, uh, I think a little. I'll, I'll take out the balance. Okay. Eventually, we're down to all those little funds that you don't hear about too much or don't change very much. We've already talked about finance and court, and we've basically talked about utility building, we've talked about those. Um, you can see where we moved the FTP from utility building. To, to finance. And to clean up, that's our garbage fees, basically, it's the franchise fee coming in, and uh, we use all the, all the money for that for paying our garbage bill. Civic Improvement Trust, that's our hotel motel tax, that's going down because we've been spending more money than we have been, but we're sure maybe going to be <coughs> not doing that. I think this last few weeks we did. We did Bring out as much as we have as we do over here. Business license is um, 
we're using more of that. We're using part of it for the economic development. We've done some of the money for downtown, so it's, it's slowing down. Also, all the medical enhancements just about hanging in there. The cable TV improvement fund, that's our franchise fee. And then we get, we also pay, that's how we operate the center fund. Fire bond is just sitting there clicking away. We're great for loving about 200,000, 280,000, I think. And we're getting 123,000 from the fire district for the 10 years. So it's just not loving the 123,000. Hop Sewer was a hop sewer project that started back in the 90s and it's in, nearing the end of its life. And it's <coughs> all the LIDs are being collected on. For a great differential fund, that's fun to put the difference between our, what we're paying the PERS and what we're actually charging ourselves internally, and then we're paying our PERS bond out of that. And that's the fund that's we have $900,000 coming for shop work. Uh, that's why it went up so much. The 900000 increase for going out that we're receiving a couple hundred thousand back. One of the things we talked about is on the, third, on the South Park bond is to pay that back first so that we get all paid back within two and a half years or whatever. The Arts Commission, that's it's going away one of these days, I think, or somebody's going to be getting what little money there is in there. Can you explain that more? Some of that, some of that money came in um, for use for big uses, this is for pulling art community. Some of it is commutable, um with for the arts festival, and so um, it's impossible to get it off the The arts festival, but cool. Well, um, I didn't know the well, I think I have the records um, because I was the. I'd like so I was a member of the art center, so I would like to see sure the rest of it. Yeah. So anyway, that's basically all this money is funds I have. There's a couple I see which is the uh, police building reserve fund and the police little reserve fund. Uh, no, I think really the the uh, money for the development, uh, which is not really coming in anymore, but uh, it is, uh, it is in here for the development of the 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 there's 180,000 in the budget for remodel out of the police building reserve funds. And that, I think, would cover all the funds. <coughs> um, before we move on to uh, the next item on your agenda, I want to uh, let the group know that um, nine days ago, I guess it was about seven days ago, I asked the department directors to be prepared for tonight. For a minimum 10 minute presentation, something a little longer than this one. I don't think anyone is sure it's okay. Um, and then I know this is the first time for many of them for the staff are doing this, and I just wanted to thank them for being so responsive. And just by the way, during that, I got a little pushback. I don't know what was said in the hallway, but. And I also want to thank you. I want to thank you all the staff on the time that did speak with Perry Bankhead. And without Perry and Dave's help, uh, this would have been a disaster for me. So I really appreciate uh, the work you've done in that discussion. Do you have any discussion or consideration on any of the objections? Mr. Green? On page 27. Uh, the words were from the class. It doesn't go up much above what it was last year. Uh, it's, it's quite a 
uh, the Fed is going up about the hundred dollars and fifty. My concern here is there's a lot of neighborhood associations that need to reactivate, and uh, they're going back to condition is there. Um, I also understood, uh, I just heard actually that this includes the trail news. Coming to the trail news, this is true. I think I think you should have two separate line items. If this is true, uh, if, uh, that we should have the trail news broken out from the from the sports and neighborhood association newsletters, if that's the case. Yeah, it looks like the neighborhood news is being saved for three different places. Part of the city communication, meeting communications line item.
I guess I don't know if I'm going to make a request to issue an issue, but I really think there should be two separate line items for the neighborhood associations. So I'm clear. Do any do any of the committee members have any objections to the five thousand for the board of education? Or we get that adjustment. That's that's fine. Um, I'd like to raise a concern um, that I brought up in December, and I wanted to uh, when it came up, I wanted to uh, make a note to myself to raise it during the budget process. Um, and this was over on um, the issue of Meritech. Um, when this issue came up last December, I went to the budget to try to find out just how much was budgeted for Meritech and. Um, and, and was told by um, Mr. Patterson that the vacancy was not a line item in the budget. And um, I'd, I'd like to request that as part of this budget process before, um, before we adopt this, that we, that we specify in the budget in the department. Um, where merit pay comes from, how much is available for them. I look pretty here, I don't see anything like that as part of salary. I do, I do know that um, this month's debt you pay on some of the items. Um, but, I mean, it's part of salary, but is there a limit? And is it, um, each, each department, how much money is available from their pay? And how do we account for that? But the sense of say put in salary is there's eighty eight thousand six hundred and forty four total for all of the funds that's in this budget. So the ten million dollars of salary is eighty eight thousand of that is merit. Is that this good? Yeah, no, it's in full time salaries. There are several things that you know. David has included that details on all of those personnel numbers. Right. And in salaries and we have we have long, let's say, you know, full time salaries with longevity and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my friend, I tell you what, American 43 editor and American 4322. Well, I'm, I'm, Steve, I'm, I'm not too currently interested in this. Okay. No, I'm living in, I would like to say, yeah, 88,000. Um, I'd just like to see if, you know, you're strong enough to come in and help you. So I don't know, I could get that up to, you know, necessarily break that down. You know, but it, Did you show her who gets married? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you see that? Yes. I, I just put it in a placeholder. Yeah. I mean, it could yeah. sort of based on history. It was seriously around 3% of the salary. I just think it could be difficult to allocate it to the parcel. I mean, uh, well, I, I, I got it in budget by, by person, by... Okay. Any other questions or discussion? I have any other issues? Seeing none, we are at the specifying the amount of tax revenue for all funds. I believe that's on the case. I believe it is not. Well, we do. We we take a rate. The first effect of the dollar is the budget. So we didn't. These changes did not change the total budget. We moved like the general fund. We were taking fifty-seven thousand five hundred three dollars in contingency to put in the neighbor volunteer recommendation and then the. Working out for the tracing is left out and removed the 37,000 for the renewal for the community health director. But that does not change the bottom line of the total budget of 90,000. So it would be a period of budget for 90,000 and 90 billion. <laughs> And then through the permanent rate for the general fund of four dollars point one five nine 
cents, and then the fire bond debt service levy is two hundred and sixty seven thousand eight hundred and twenty. Seeing none, I call for a vote. Commissioner Nasida? Aye. Commissioner Neely? Aye. Commissioner Smith? Aye. Commissioner Norris? Aye. Commissioner Rubisell? And Commissioner Carlton? Carlton. Aye. Commissioner uh, Chair Geiger? Aye. And that's seven to zero. Unanimous in one day. <laughs> so we want to be in front. I then an early renewal will be at the city hall. Uh, right now we'll have your renewal. I'll have you your hand it out tonight. That's a great gift to have tomorrow. I want to thank the staff. I really appreciate the departmental presentation. David, we did receive my day.